So globalization is a huge issue these days, especially when we're talking about poverty and whether globalization is a cause of like reason that poverty is increased or decreased. There's people that think of it both ways. What do you, do you believe that globalization has increased poverty? Well, I guess I'm sort of on the fence. Um, I think that there are aspects of globalization that probably contributed to it. I think um, some areas um, that probably have affected maybe not necessarily poverty, but human rights and also poverty come from globalization. But I think as a whole, just the overall sort of expansion of our ability to um, become more global has allowed us to see problems that exist around the world, like poverty. And so yes, in a sense, I guess there have been factors of globalization that have um, caused poverty to rise, but in the same sense, the globalization of communication and just business as a whole has also opened um, our eyes as a country to allow us to then um, impact the rest of the world for the better. Yeah, that's how a lot of people see it. They see globalization as bringing other countries being able to like help them grow, but at the same time, a lot of people see it that a lot of multinational corporations and stuff are actually the ones affecting poverty and making it a bigger issue because they're the ones that are like kind of increasing poverty by doing outsourcing and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I guess I feel like it it does help, but I can see both sides of it, so I'm sure. kind of on the fence as well. So a lot of people know that there's reasons that people are in poverty are based on a lot of different traps that people are in, and one of those is a lack of education. Sure. Um, and so I feel like a really good way to end poverty would be to educate people. I mean, that's probably one of the best ways that we're going to end poverty. How do you? Oh, I agree. I, well, I think that's one component um, to helping um, solve at least extreme poverty. The only way people can really bring themselves out of poverty is if they have the resources available to them. Um, education being a big one so that people can learn, acquire knowledge, and sort of gain the skills they need to bring themselves out of poverty. Um, it's really easy to, to just throw money at the problem and hope that, you know, just doing things like foreign aid or charity and that will kind of solve it. And that really just puts a band-aid over it. If you go into the areas where extreme poverty exists and you teach them to utilize the resources that they have there to build their own economies and to provide education so that they know how to do that, that's how you actually um, help those people bring themselves out of poverty and then allow them to stay out of poverty. Yeah, I know one organization we've talked a lot about in class too and that I've done some research on is Kiva, where they do the microfinancing so that people can um, get loans and then make their own businesses and, and then they pay back the loans and they've, I mean, just even through education that people like can learn how to establish their own businesses and provide like a living for themselves. I think that's really important and a good way to get out of poverty. Absolutely.